Hello and welcome to the GMS Magazine video channel being recorded at La Base Secreta, the premier board game cafe in the heart of Valencia in Spain. Play More Games has born out of sheer passion and fun for board games and their first offering it is Race to the North Pole which has been in development for a fair amount of time and came out at Spiel. 2015, so we're going to find out exactly what's inside this box and see if the contents are worth the amount of money that you have to spend to get your hands on it. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. Play More Games, as I was saying earlier, it really came out of a passion for games and they are part of Arctic Union, an organisation that I'm very, very fond of and very supportive of because they do some absolutely fantastic, fantastic stuff. And furthermore, they have done their logo that you can see here, so it looks like GMS when it says games, which is, thank you very much indeed. I'm so glad I inspired that in you guys. I know I didn't, but I don't know, just let me live without fantasy. Anyway. Race to the North Pole is that, it's a racing game, but it's a racing game that is funny. It really is very funny and really fun because you have to be backstabbing each other all the time and you are at the mercy of the elements in the North Pole. But they have had the good sense of actually using some very whimsical, very funny artwork so it doesn't promote any kind of nasty feeling when you're actually backstabbing another of your friends which is great it's a game for two to four players it plays in about well, 45 minutes give or take and ages seven and up it's a simple simple game nice box yes they signed it for me very very nice guys, I have to say, they really are lovely. And it's very solid. Uh, again, I do like remarking on, on the boxes, and in this particular case, they've done a really good job. This doesn't feel like a cereal box. You get lots of things inside the box. Let's take a look, first of all, at the rules. That comes both in German and in English. Everything laid out very, very simply, very simply, which is fantastic, because it makes the whole thing very simple to read, very simple to see, and it kind of is telling you a story of how to play the game. It's, this is something great. It's not just telling you, go this, do this, do that, do this, do this, this, play, this, this. No, it's, it feels like it's telling you the story of how to play the game, which is great. Everything is so damn simple. And look, this is, oh my God, this is an absolutely terrific addition to the whole rules thing. House rules. Are you doing anything differently? Are you doing something that just your group is doing and you're enjoying it? House rules. Have you changed anything that you didn't like in the game to make it better for your team? That's great. That's absolutely great. Uh, this is something that a lot more games should come with. So there you go. What do we find now? Well, we find part of the board just part of the board because this game has a rotating board and this is what goes inside my friends this is going to sit on top Let's see um, and it matches nicely because you get the little boats in here so the whole thing can coincide neatly of course if you have the time and inclination to do so which at the moment I do not have because 
I have time constraints for these videos. Otherwise, I could stay here all afternoon. And the quality is really excellent. I love the background. It's a very nice detail. Then you get the central point, which you have to dig this, and it to the, the icon tells you to you know throw it away. And I will explain why in a minute. And then you get. the rotating bit in this very, very center that points towards the end. That's, that's your goal, that's where you have to go. The tokens are very, oh, very good quality, really good quality. The cardboard, although it's just two millimeters thick, but it really feels very, very rigid. And the illustrations are absolutely lovely. The illustrations are beautiful and the printing is absolutely top-notch, really top-notch. Little buggy. More little player boards. And a quick guide. Very quick guide, very nice. Very good touch again, very, very well thought out. Some cards, some nipples. More play cards, I mean, just look at the artwork. It, it is actually very nice. I mean, look, at, look, look at the face of that animal in there. These are the explorers, of course. and you can create your own. How good it is, they give you a couple of boards where you can actually create your own. No comment about copyright infringement for this one. Okay, they are just four penguins. Four penguins, that's all they are. <laughs> it's just fantastic. I'm really loving this. Then you get the cards. The cards are a little bit on the thin side, I have to say. So, of course, well worth um, leaving them. The icons are very well, very nicely visible everywhere. Something in the back. It tells you how many times to rotate and in what direction the board. Why? Because if you assemble the board, the board actually moves and the hole that you saw me opening one of earlier are going to reveal some dangers, some, some sort of uh, problems that the explorers are going to find because there's a storm, there's a snowstorm and when there's a snowstorm everything changes and everything goes out of the way so it's very difficult to find out exactly where you are once more. So that is a very nice, very, very cool feature of the game. And you have these little transparent little squares, very, actually very transparent, very good quality. Very good quality that you put on top of the board to make sure that your meeples, when you move them about, they're not going to fall all over the place. Again, a very, very nice touch. And then you get your Explorer meeples, which are really lovely. They're just Explorer meeples, nothing too fantastic about them, but at least they're not the standard meeples that we've known for years now. They, they have something slightly different, which is good. And this, which I'm not entirely sure what it does, but it's huge, really huge. So let's bring this back. And last but not least, you have a set of stickers. Stickers that, oh, okay. One for each player, and you can put on your meeples. And you can put on top of this 
big cylinder. This is just to save on production costs, which you know is something I can I can live with, um, because otherwise, if they, if they have to create the meeples with all these engraved or whatever, it would put the price the price of, of the game a lot higher. So I'm I'm happy to spend a few minutes just you know setting these up to save myself 10 euros in, in the game. As I knew, because I've, I've seen, I saw the game coming out in, in Spiel, um, if you're watching at this video in the future, 2015, um, I knew that the game was going to look absolutely excellent. I know the game is really good fun, and now it's for you to decide whether this game has what it takes for you to, to want to spend the money or not. I would recommend it, I really would recommend it, because just the, the mechanic of, of changing the board from one side to the other and revealing dangers that could actually hurt you as a player, not just your opponents, is a very, very clever thing. And the way that they have developed it in-game, as in the product itself, is actually very good quality. So it is, for me, very highly recommended. It's a very simple game. It's a fun family game. You know, yeah, it's, it's not hugely, deeply strategic, but it's something very different, really fun. So. Yeah, let's let's have a go. Take a look and see and see what you think. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with everything that we are posting. And do let us know your opinions and your comments. Just you know down there, just put your comments and we would love to hear from you what you have to say. But until next time from La Base Secreta in Valencia, thank you very much indeed for watching.